you get in a conflict and watch the pit of the stomach, the lump in your throat, whatever it is, and then all of a sudden you engage with them. And once you're done, once you blow your load and you're screaming and you're yelling and you're saying all these things, notice something. I'm exhausted. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe how exhausted I am. That was horrible. That was petrifying. That was terrible. I, my heart is aching. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm shaking right now. This is something. You absolutely, you are like, you're like a piece of fruit and you squeeze the living juice out of yourself. Endless creating. Endless pulsating. The spirit of the valley never dies. She is called the hidden creator. Although she becomes the whole universe, her immaculate purity is never lost. Although she assumes countless forms, Her true identity remains intact. Whatever we see or don't see, whatever exists or doesn't exist, is nothing but the creation of this supreme power. Tao is limitless, unborn, eternal. It can only be reached through the hidden creator. She is the very face of the absolute, the gate to the source of all things eternal. Listen to her voice. Hear it echo through creation. Without fail, she reveals her presence. Without fail, she brings us to our own perfection. Ah. Dip that into your very essence. Let it percolate, let it reverberate, let it resonate in the very cellular structure that you have realized as your physical body. Let it saturate, let it emulate. Let it realize that is your truth, that is your reality. Oh. Welcome to the consciousness of the way, my divine, delectable, most beautiful high priestess, Jade, my co-host. Welcome. Good morning. What a magnificent morning it is. Mm -hmm. Morning, evening, present. I'm in awe, in awe of the very essence of Tao. Being able to observe this most profound, limitless, infinite abundance that cannot be named, cannot be defined, cannot be limited. I am your humble servant and Sifu, Taoist Master San Quinn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
Whew. Perception, perception, perception. Mm-hmm. How simplicit, how complicit, how simplicit, how complicit, how reductive, how expansive, how all knowing or not knowing. There is no definition. This is true. Uh, the keyboard warriors <laughs> of the old interweb. How fond I am. How grateful I am. My appreciation for you is beyond words. It is. It's it's kind of funny. And it, and it's not just just keyboard warriors. It's I think it's just people in general. I um was on the phone with someone the other day for like 35 minutes and I swear they didn't even take a breath it was just like one thing after another this isn't right and I had to do this and then I had to go here and this didn't happen and then this and then this and then this and I kind of finally they they took a moment and I said well you could be dead (laughs) and then kind of paused for a minute and it like it resonated for a second and then it was like yeah, but I still can't believe that I had to, do, 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 and it was just this, this ongoing thing, and I was just like, okay, this is this is a moment. I see, I see where you're at today. Yeah, and you know, I mean, that's a beautiful part about this experience, this simulation as a human being, mm-hmm. is that your truth is the only truth you need to be concerned with. And how you perceive that reality, what you do with it, is for you to decide what you would like to do with it. Which brings us to today's most interesting, the architecture. The architecture, the very rippling effect that takes place when you realize, or moreover, you engage with the field you engage with the matrix you engage with the Tao Buddha universe God so there's a there's a vast difference between all knowing and all thinking Mm -hmm. and so emotional content would put you in a, a, a thinking category moreover a duality, which then creates this architecture, this signature of what's really going on. So if we were to use the model that your reality, your perception, and your your viewpoint of reality is that exactly that it's your viewpoint and so i would like to share with you the understanding because people always talk to me about oh this that and something else well if this is so true then why aren't people doing this and that and something else and it's like when you're attempting to define a a level of consciousness that is for the individual to materialize to manifest to realize and that and and i mean i would speak on it in the sense that people are like oh well if if that's just a case and thoughts were that big of a deal then people would just be Uh, teams, uh, athletes would just be winning all this stuff and doing all this stuff. Last time I checked, they are winning all this stuff and doing all this stuff. You are identifying with the very few that have broken through, break on through to the other side. I don't know who sings that, but that's the few. Mm -hmm. Everyone has the ability. It's just how you obtain a level of consciousness to obtain the 5D bending of reality 
is the difference between you and me. That's it. That's all. Mic drop. And so, oh, well, if, it, and I mean, well, that is the case. Yeah. Look at your favorite athlete. Look at your favorite whoever, celebrity, uh, movie star, uh, business person, whoever it is that you may look up to or admire for whatever it is that they're successful at, they are doing exactly as I have spoken on so many times before and will continue to, to remind you that you also have the same abilities. And so there is no, um, how do we put it? There's no difference between you and I. And Not when it comes down to the tools that you have access to. Right, right. And so that that the only difference of accessibility is perception. Right. That's it. That's all. Mm -hmm. Beginning to end. And so there we brings us to this understanding of the inner workings of how the infrastructure starts and ends. Um, energy, frequency, vibration is abundant, timeless, endless, limitless, infinite. You know? It cannot be created or destroyed. However you perceive it, it is exists in every single um, essence of every single angle of every single piece of this space that you may feel as though is not occupied is absolutely jam-packed full with limitless amounts of dense energy mm -hmm. that's obtainable to anybody. And that's the thing. It's like, do you have the frequency? Well, of course we do. We all do. Yeah. Just to realize it. And I think it's funny because, you know, sometimes we'll get like weird looks if we go to a restaurant and they'll sit us at a table and we'll say, can I have a table over there? Or can I, I want to sit over there? Or like, you know, even even hotel rooms, like if we'll, we've been a few times where like we've requested a different room just because the location or the flow, wherever it was in some people, or lack of flow. Yeah, lack of flow. And some people get it. And then some people like are like, oh, you're just difficult or you're, but it's like when yeah. you're a Taoist, when you can see all of these things, yeah. um, it's very important and it, it becomes a part of your everyday life, mm -hmm. depending on what decisions you're making, where you want to go. It's like you, you kind of flow with the energy. Um, it's like that, it's like that example that like, um, if every time you put your hand in a cookie jar, like a hand came out and slapped you across the face, I'm pretty sure after two or three times, like you would, you'd be like, dude, I'm not, I'm not putting my hand in there. That doesn't feel good. That would in theory yes. seem the next possible outcome. Yet truth be known, human beings are not um, as simple as that. Right. Unfortunately, moreover, they believe they're a lot smarter than the average bear which would then tend to leave them in the limbo of Groundhog Day. Yeah. But, mo but, but I would say for most people, like if it was that dramatic, that, that kind of physical, they would be like, okay, maybe I don't want a cookie that bad or maybe I'll find a different way. And so on like an energetic standpoint, when you can see all of these different things and you're like, I don't want to sit at that table or I don't want to walk through that door. Or I want to move a different way because you mm -hmm. can see the energy. It's kind of the same idea. Mm -hmm. um, when you can't see it though, it, you, you know, maybe reach into the cookie jar every single time, even mm -hmm. though that energetic slap might be happening, you're not aware of it until you're aware of it. Mm -hmm. And then you can start, navigating different ways right. for us that's kind of how we how we see it it's mm -hmm. it's as as uh, blatant as like a slap in the face and mm -hmm. you're like nope 
<laughs> I'd like to move over here. I don't, yeah. think, I don't think I need that today. Yeah. And I mean, when you go on a deeper level, depending upon what who who's occupying what space, you mm -hmm. have to understand that you shift the frequency, energy, vibration instantaneously. So if you are left with no alternatives, the shift that frequency, energy, vibration is instantaneous. So you you can change the energy, the frequency, vibration of anything instantaneously. If you just you're, have to be aware of it. Right, if, if wherever you're at. So, you know, the the biggest thing that, you know, Jade and I are, are speaking on today is, you know, where are you operating? Where are you operating um, as, you know, are you, your, your consciousness will determine how you navigate your reality within this realm. Mm -hmm. Well, what does that mean, Sifu? What are you talking about? Well, consciousness, again, is just perception, right? So your sensory perception is being dialed in as Jade and I continue to share with you more immaterial, more um, exercises, more understanding, more depth, in-depth uh, realizations your sensory perception will continue to dial up, meaning that you'll become more and more sensitive to anything and everything around you. And it's like so funny because it's been very few, far between or very few that I've come across in my natural born life in this reincarnation over the 30 odd years that I've been operating in this space. And I've come across very few people that have had similar to the same type of like sensory perception and it's all got to do with how you obtain it so um i was just listening just to a podcast the other day and there was a specific um physicist um stroke um i guess he would call himself a I don't know, a mystic or I, I'm not even sure what he would define himself as, but it was very interesting, his observation and how he acquired his, how he perceived things. And the sensory perception that's very popular right now is I need to acquire these. I know they exist. Let me take an external um, energy and that's all it is. And that can come in the form of alcohol, um, man-made drugs, you know, mother-made drugs, moreover, Tao-made drugs, something that comes from the earth, and allow that to trigger my natural skill set and my sensory perception. Um, that sounds absolutely amazing. And there's absolutely no reason why that's not possible. Anything is possible. And people, I've seen many, 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 many people go down that route and it's useful till it's useful and then it's not useful when it's not useful so what does that mean see what are you talking about well excuse me you take in an external force whatever it is drugs alcohol you know dow made made stuff natural from the earth you know mushrooms you know ayahuasca, uh, uh, any type of hallucinogen that stimulates some type of like alchemical response that wasn't triggered by your own energetics, you acquire a sensory perception that is exactly the same. And now I, I'll be very clear. If you are able to set yourself up with a knowing of what you're going to do with this acquired sensory perception. And when you go to use this external force to do that, that the, the actual game plan is to acquire this sensory perception and you will retain it through your experience. Anything is possible. Any, absolutely anything. Anything. Let me repeat myself. Anything is possible. So with that understanding, I could absolutely see someone walking away from an experience uh, such as, as a ayahuasca, um, um, mushroom, LSD, whatever it is, and realize that they're going to acquire this sensory perception and they're going to maintain it 
moving forward, I can see that happening instantaneously. I do not see that very often um, from my perception, from my perspective, from my experience. What I do tend to find is this, they lean on it, they have the experience, and they're in more deficiency after they walk away from the experience than they are in um, a mastered skill. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that is, you know, you have to be clear on your, your belief system. You have to know what you know and believe what you believe and allow it to realize now. And that's the mistake that people make is they're not clear on that. Oh, I want to have this experience. And they, they are quite, they get a taste of it. This is, you know, Jade and I experienced this for, this is what we do. People have a glimpse of something, then they can't obtain it on their own cognition. And then they're like, I need to have someone help me find a way to get this done because I cannot live, live the rest of my life without this extra superpower that I got a taste of, and now I must have it. Mm -hmm. It's like going through a maze, and like the first time you go through it, you're like, oh, I got out. I made it. That was so fun. And then like every other time you go in it, you're like... I'm stuck. What do I do? What, right. how, you know, right. how did I, how did I figure it out right. that one time? Right. But you know, one out of a hundred right. and every other 99 times I'm just stuck in it. Right. What do right. I, you know, how do I get back to it? Right. Right. And, and it can feel like that. Right. Right. And so I came across this guy and he was, he was in a podcast and he had actually taken mushrooms and he said he acquired a, a clear v vision from it. And, you know, I acquired clear vision many decades ago, and it was realized instantaneously. And this is how it works, guys. I can literally give you the framework, which I am going to. I've, I promised you this. There's three, there's three major videos that I'm going to do in the next couple of days. One is a clairvoyant uh, 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 aura reading. Two is um, third eye activation. And three is, uh, you know, complete bliss activation you know absolute pure sunshine uh be high in your own supply for the rest of your natural born life and so those three incredible how-to videos are coming out what i'm explaining to you is this um how he acquired this sensory perception and he retained it and i thought it was quite brilliant because he was looking at this guy and he pretty much got the same reading that I did and how I break uh, all readings down is a very fun. It's, it's, it's founded in the basic Taoist uh, fundamental uh, uh, system method of, of training, which is aligns you with all, all the universal tools that are necessary. The universe is our teacher. And he acquired it. I was like, I was really, I was really impressed. And he said, yeah, I walked away from this and I'm able to read auras. And, and he read this guy's aura and it was pretty much almost identical to how I were. Well, the outcome, the reading itself was almost identical. And I was like, really, I was really impressed. Now, that's not normally the situation, but also he would have set his intention, attention, to acquiring this sensory perception. So when he walked away, he had the skill. Now, do I recommend that? Um, that's for you to discern. That's for you to decide. I will tell you this. You have the ability to do it on your own cognition with mastery tools that Jade and I will show you. So there's no exception to the rule. No, there, no one... There isn't a person, human being on the face of the earth that cannot have access to hu superhuman abilities. Mm -hmm. And so we want to break down for you the inner workings and understanding of what happens when you engage with deception, when you engage with manipulation, when you engage with absolutely offline incoherence. Yeah. 
And you're like, Sifu, what is that? That sounds like an exorcism or some type of like possession. What could that possibly be? You've said it before, oppression, depression, possession, a blammo. In essence, what I'm speaking of is when you engage with someone's signature that they've conjured up with a thought, emotion, and feeling, which is taken wave to matter, materialized it into a cluster of this most profound uh, s energy that we speak of, energy, frequency, vibration. It then permeates and transmutes into a solidified um, physical ailment, if not realized and, and healed from, it will continue to accumulate itself. Mm -hmm. And so when you're, when you're engaging with someone, and, and the reason I bring reference to this is I, it was my observation of the keyboard warrior um, stuff. So to, today someone made a comment um, which seemed from my perception to be very limited. And one of uh, our followers jumped in and said, listen, I don't know what you're on. That your definition of your your actual profile said, "Be kind," and you are not. You are far from being. I mean, it was it was so ironic, but the follower was like, "Your your profile says be kind," and then they threw back the energy that that person put out, and then doubled down even again and said, "Listen, you know." This type of, and they use the same word, nonsense, is not welcomed here. And that, you know, take your BS and go somewhere else. Now, I would say from this circumstance, two wrongs don't make a right. Um, do I understand it? Absolutely. Because, you know, people come to our page, come into our stratosphere to embrace acceptance allowance appreciation gratitude um supercharge of realization of how powerful they are that's what we do we're just here to basically confirm what you already know and then help you realize it so you obtain that superpower and it's and it's accessible to you at will all day every day that's what we love to do that's our mission that is our driving force that is our realization yeah no no it is and and you know when you do vibrate at that frequency um you tend to get a lot of lower vibrational energies that like it can't handle it because it's too high and so they either run away or freak out and, you know, type something really fast that, you know, is, is maybe incoherent is incoherent. And, um, but getting more into like going back to the energy of how, how you can see it and feel it and, and how it transmutes, we're constantly kind of running this flow of energy. And when you get into these lower vibrational emotions, um, what what that really does to your body and how that um, can affect you in different ways. And again, it gets back to, like you said, perspective, mindset, the whole thing. I mean, you can have like back in the 50s, everybody was like, oh, it's great mm -hmm. to like smoke cigarettes and, you know, mm -hmm. do cocaine mm -hmm. and like that's normal. And then it's mm -hmm. like this consciousness kind of shift. They started going, oh, no. Maybe that's not healthy for you. Maybe that's not good for you. And you still have people who like even go go like, no, I don't care. I'm 100 years old. I smoke a pack a day. I don't have anything wrong with my lungs. I have the lungs of a 20-year-old and mm -hmm. I'm perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. And then you have some people who maybe buy into it or, or believe it. And it's like, you know, they die of lung cancer mm -hmm. at 70. And, mm -hmm. you know, and it's it all it all is how it transmits and translates into your belief system yeah yeah i mean jade's so right you know you look at this um transformation of of 
energy frequency vibration, understanding that your perception of your reality is limited only by you. Mm -hmm. Your truth is the only truth you need to be concerned with and understanding the inner workings of this stuff. So when, when, when you have someone that is motivated, the old expression, I wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Realize that, know that to be true. This is your perception of your reality. So let's start with that rippling effect, this understanding of the mechanics of a translated manifestation, because that's exactly what this is. This is a manifestation, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. Do not be twisted by this. So, Sifu, what do you mean a manifestation? I thought a manifestation was, I want money, I want a big house, I want to... I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Absolutely. And so manifestation is purely whatever you desire will become your reality. Okay, Sifu. So how does, you know, a negative, angry, i.e. anger per se, be a manifestation of my desire? Well, it's really quite simple. You engage in that. So let's use the scenario. You get up, you roll over, and you kiss your spouse on the forehead, and you're, you're, you're supercharged to take on the day. You're energized, you're realized, you're bubbly. And they're like, ah, ah. and you're like, oh, really? I just gave you like a 10 plus there, my friend. And they roll over, and you're like, well, whatever. You know, I'm feeling good. And then you walk downstairs, you go in the kitchen, you start making your breakfast. And anyway, your spouse comes downstairs and they're like, hey, honey, how are you? And you turn around, you pour in the coffee and you're like, good. How are you? And so you went from a 10. You perceived that they gave you an eight or even lower. Let's just say you thought they gave you a seven when you're just bearing your pure essence of joy and happiness to be alive you go downstairs you you're 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 still set in the in the perception of your reality that they do not love you now this will be triggered and and hooked into your very essence by what is valid within your own energetics and your mental emotional state so what what Siva, what are you talking about so you're at a 10 you woke up, you're bubbling, you're buzzing, you're on top of it, yet you still have some unrealized emotional states that normally stay dormant within your physical body uh, in the model of Taoism in relation to energetics. Your mental emotional state is, um, if not realized, if not healed from, stored within your physical body, i.e. a specific organ, depending upon what that may be. So you have this unrealized emotion that's in dormant within one of your organs. A classic one is always anger. And so this person, you give them a 10 and they give you an 8 and you're like, hell no, mm -hmm. I ain't taking an 8 today. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a 15. I want the same if not greater i demand the same if not greater and of course when you start this type of like communication from one energy to another one emotion to another one signature to another which are not meeting they're meeting in the middle to a degree when you understand that how electricity works the polarity uh, pushes against each other there's a magnetism and there's a repulsion depending upon the circumstance you have a situation where you gave out a 10 they gave you an eight you you they come in for round two after they've sort of like woken up and they've lived out their reality because their reality was set in stone due to their intention because this is how they perceive it they go I'm not a morning person. Okay. So that's already rippling into their realization of their truth, of their reality, operating in a duality. 
So that's set forth, that's set in stone. That's how they operate their reality. So really, if you were to look back on your relationship with your spouse, your spouse always would constantly um, uh, remind you, I'm not a morning person. And But I am. I'm a morning person and I feel pretty good. And I want to tell you, I love you. I want to give you a kiss on the forehead and you are going to accept it and you're going to embrace it and you're going to give me back the same, if not more, because I'm a human being. I'm working in this duality and I expect something in return. What? And so you got something in return. You got a triggering of an unrealized emotion that was dormant within your own physical body, more common, moreover, a level of anger because you were being dismissed. You were being dismissed. You weren't being realized. You weren't being validated. And you weren't being equal to or greater than. And this materialized into a really bad day. And so... I was going to say that that energetic slap in the face. Right, right. And we're going to get into the mechanics. But let me yeah. continue the... the uh, the hot potato effect, mm -hmm. we like to call it. So you're downstairs, you're pouring your coffee, your spouse comes down, you're in the middle of a pour, and they're like, hey, honey, how are you? Oh, my goodness, it's such a great day. I love you so much. And you're like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I love you too. And so you're now, you, you got your eight from them when I, you, you clearly, you felt, I'm a 15. I gave them a 15, they gave me an 8, how dare they? And so the hot potato effect is you're now, that stagnation of that emotion is being realized, it's being evoked by their emotional state. And because you operate in a duality, you're separating. What? No, you said everything is whole, Sifu. What are you talking about? All is one, one is all. Oh, no, you're, you're separating. You're separating, and that is the repulsion of that energetic. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me go into greater detail. So you have the emotion, it attaches, as, and then it repulses. So whatever they're putting out attaches to yours, it, it gets bigger, and then it repulses them. See, for this sounds kind of bad. Well, it is if you're operating in a duality. Understand this. Everything has to do with your perception of your reality. No, there is no exception. So if you were to have everything realized as a whole and you would accept and allow everything as a whole, you would not even be engaging in these sort of dynamics because you would, as Denzel Washington would say, King Kong ain't got nothing on me. And so... I'm going to have to use another one because I think the character died in the end and that's not exactly what I was getting at, but it was just a really powerful moment. It's like a realization. So this all is uh, contingent on your perception of your reality. So if you operate in a duality, you're going to be contending with these things on a push-pull side of situation, yin and yang kind of situation. I understand this, know this to be true. So you're now given them a seven because they gave you an eight let's just say a six and a half and so they're like hey i'm so happy to see you i love you good morning what's for breakfast mm. i don't know what do you want and so they're now realized as how dare you i gave you my 15 and you're giving me a seven or a six and a half Ooh. There's nothing more clear than the delusion of anger. Mm -hmm. Anger is a, a massive mask for the true essence of how you're really feeling because it gives you such clarity and certainty that you believe you are very, very realized as, I don't like you, I hate you. And it's razor sharp, it's razor focused, it's high beta, hyper beta, so you're hyper-focused and you're able to, in your belief system, your perception of your reality, you are fixated on one thing. The target is your spouse. The target is we are in the vicinity of Houston. Do we shoot the target yet? And it comes to a reality where this is all contingent on this 
understanding that you're operating in a duality, you're operating in this potato effect, hot potato effect, and the more you you engage with each other's emotional state, the greater the cluster of the energy, and it starts to magnify itself. Mm -hmm. And you're literally, as I said before, manifesting this reality. That's not what I call manifestation. No, that's probably, in most cases, 99% of people do not identify with engaging with their emotional state as being a manifestation of their own making they do not realize that everything is a manifestation of their own making mm -hmm. and and then the wife or the or the spouse goes to the dishwasher and goes how many times have i told you they're supposed to be stacked this way and they're supposed to be this way and you never listen to me and you and you, you know, and then she throws a, a three or whatever. Well, that's an interesting how you alluded to that. I just said spouse. You've you've identified as a oh, well, as a particular you energy. Back, you were going back well, and well, forth. because I, I mean, the yin the and yang light. energy can transmute, right? I mean, see, she's instantly identifying with a a husband and wife scenario, and in of itself, it's true. Whether you, as you realize someone's physical, um, biological. Uh, uh, makeup, but they can, uh, uh, someone can obtain the greater or lesser energy of yin and yang, even though their physiology may lean towards the natural biological uh, supercharge of an identifying energy, i.e., if you're um, female, you're identifying majority, a major energy that would be realized would be yin. As a male, it would be yang. But the ability to transmute and transfer that, depending upon circumstances, is realized instantaneously by anybody. Yeah. And so, yes, like Jade said, so you're... No, I was just getting back to like that. The, 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 then you get, like you said, you get so hyper-focused on like one little tiny thing that like if you could step back, you'd be like, oh my God, it's a dishwasher. It's a dish. Who really cares? But you're, you're you've you've kind of done this like um, stair stepping that now that's the, that's the very top. That's mm -hmm. the pinnacle. That's the point. I'm going to base everything in my whole day and my whole relationship with this person off of this tiny little thing that he or she didn't stack the dishwasher. Right. And now that's my ultimate focus. And they're going to have a terrible day today. I'm going to have a terrible day. He storms out. Well, we're still the door. At, we're still at level five. And, I was going to continue to descend. Okay, sorry. So we're we're at le <laughs> we're, we're at level five. The the the, other, the spouse has now given you the five. Mm -hmm. You've received it as a five. They've given you a five because of your attempts at giving them a six, and now you're sort of at, you're getting closer and dis the, basically going down the rabbit hole where before you know it you're in a negative. And so those negatives are being realized, and now you have a a massive cluster of mental, emotional um, feelings, because everything is a thought, emotion, and a feeling, and you have that realized. So, Sifa, well, wh wh what do you do? Where, huh, what happens from here? Well, you know, this is all contingent on a duality uh, perception. And so your sensory perception, whether it's um, um, ultra or in lack of, it's being realized in a physical uh, manifestation. So what's the seed? The seed is the thought, feeling, and emotion. It starts there. Now you could be in the same room, you could be on different ends of the world. That will instantly be realized so that signature you put that information out there and we go back to the keyboard warrior from the internet right that is realized so you have that person put out their greatest hits they're having a bad day in their perception what better way to feel better than to find a beating stick or a beating boy or a beating girl or a beating somebody and take it all out on them pour their attention intention into the very essence of the dialogue that pure um 
whatever emotion it is, but nine times out of ten, it's anger. They pour it into this statement. They pour it into the internet. And then once it's realized by the, the receiver, which is everybody, all is one, one is all, if you're operating in a duality, then that will be realized. You will, it's like a heat-seeking missile. It finds you. And if, there's, if you have a deficiency or an excess of any kind, it will be attached to that. And then it will transmute into a massive cluster. It's like how someone can get in your face and go, screw you, man. And then you engage with them and go, screw you. And then all of a sudden it's like, screw your mother. No, screw your father. No, I mean, it doesn't end. I mean, it continues to go up. And the escalation is palpable because you are able to feel the transfer of the energy because you're operating in a duality. And this all is contingent on you um, accepting and, and receiving that. It's like a heat-seeking missile. So someone gets on the internet, they put their greatest hits into some type of post. Another person is realized at the same frequency, engages with that, and then the, the most uh, uh, noticeable side effect would be, my well, goodness, I had a really bad day. I had a really bad day, and you know I've had a people being horrible to me all day long on the internet, on the highway, at work, um, and now clearly at home because you gave me a four before I left the house, and I came back here today, and I know you're going to give me a negative five, and this is all being realized one escalation after another because you are manifesting it. You are creating it. So that signature is quite clear. The thought, the feeling, and emotion that's materialized from a wave into matter particle all of this condenses into a cluster, and that signature is going out into those trillions, if not infinite, amount of cells that are being realized within that zero-point energy that we speak of, the matrix, the, the, the oneness, the field, the universe, Buddha, God, Allah, Tao, whatever it is, is being realized within this, this space that you cannot see because there is no space. There's nothing but no space within the space that you believe is there and so what are you talking about Sifu I mean holy moly this is ma this is this is way beyond way beyond absolutely way beyond way beyond because what you cannot see does not mean that you cannot know mm -hmm. and understand this and know this to be true I'll repeat it one more time. What you cannot see does not mean you cannot know. And so this is the mistake that most people make. They lean on physiology. They lean on biology. They lean on psychology. And then they're limited by what their perception is. They're limited by their information. And if you have to learn it, you do not know it. If you know it, you do not have to learn it. Take that mic drop and know that to be true. And so you have... The heat-seeking missile, and you've had a long day. You engage with that person, the, the keyboard warrior, and guess what? They're like vampires. They're sucking from your life force. The more you engage, the more the rippling effect. This is like the, um, the Petri dish with the uh, you know, uh, mold that you can grow in a Petri dish, classic science, a science project, you know, let's grow the mold in the Petri dish. This is the same visual realization when you take an emotion a thought a feeling and you engage with it and because you are operating in a duality it transmutes and creates a bigger cluster and a bigger cross cluster and a bigger cluster so the more attention intention you put to it as we always talk about the visual audible creating a kinesthetic spark that feeling is the realization and so just because you're not having the feel-good moment that you're going to pick up, you know, the bag of money, the car, the house, the dream partner, whatever it is that you want to realize, you're still manifesting all day, every day. Those infinite dots that we speak of that are full of that black hole energy that is the interworking of the plasma, that is the field, that is the zero-point energy that we speak of because there is no space, there is no time. Space-time doesn't exist. It's nothing more than a way to encapsulate the idea as a human being that you have to measure your experience. The realization 
that doesn't exist is when you are go time within that 5D reality. That 5D reality is realized. So guess what? You can operate for good or bad. This is the realization. So just because you haven't accepted the 5D doesn't mean it's not happening. Mm -hmm. Just because you haven't accepted the realization that this is the true um, uh, experience that you're having, not the simulation that you believe is three-dimensional because people are constructing these um, very complex sort of like compartmentalized uh, theories or ideas of how you're supposed to perceive your reality within a construct of a realm of man, a realization is how you're being separated, separated from who you truly are. This is what you need to come to, to the realization of. And that you have the choice. Oh, you have the choice. You have the power you instantaneously. The power. Yep. And so we always harp on, we always lean on, we always reiterate, we always focus our attention to helping you realize that you are the universe. The universe is you. That complete power, that epiphany, that realization is when everything is go time. And it's only realized when you can feel it. And that's the big deal, is feeling it. And you can feel it instantaneously. Go and get into conflict with somebody. First and foremost, the first thing that will happen is most people do not do not welcome or appreciate conflict. So there's going to be a resistance. And guess what the resistance is? The feeling. So the feeling will be instantaneously. The feeling will be, I'm feeling all, all for, for charted, for cuckold. Uh, I feel I feel really sick inside. Yeah, that's a, ye a couple of Yiddish words I threw in there. They're kind of cool. Huh? For cuckold, for, for charted. Uh, uh, I I can I I just can't live with myself right now. Where's Jerry Springer right now? Anyway, that is a feeling. Yes or no? It's a feeling. That's the truth. Hang on a second, see that, that pit in your stomach. That um, what do you call it when you? Like the, 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 the lump in your throat. Yeah, yeah that's I mean, an interesting this, expression yeah, now, isn't it? What an interesting expression. The pit in my stomach, the lump in my throat. I've never heard that before, Sifu. Mm -hmm. Right, because this is a realized feeling that is the effect of what you're engaging in. So imagine the heat-seeking missile. You are all interconnected. The interweb, the interplasma, the infinite amount of dots. I'm not even saying trillion. They're infinite. And they're all realized. They're all attached to the field. They are the field. They're attached. They're realized. They're all interconnected with that black hole singular energy that is realized that gives you abundant, timeless, endless, limitless, infinite amount of access to anything and everything at will, at once. Everything is moving beyond light speed. Booyah. So you engage with that. And then all of a sudden, get in someone's face, which you're not going to want to. You're going to feel that pit, that lump in your stomach that Jade speaks of. And you're like, I don't want to. Mm, I don't want to. It's like that old expression. Um, when you, when um, you want to return some food in a restaurant and you, that wasn't prepared properly. And it's like, a, it's like the mother's tale. Don't ever return the food. The cook, he's going to spit in it. There's something going to take place. You you don't want to ever mess with the cook. You don't want to ever mess with the waiter because they're going to make your food bad. Well, of course, that's your realization. That's your manifestation. That becomes your reality. And you end up like an, a, a, a reel from that movie Road Trip. If you haven't seen it, see it. And then what you have seen, you cannot unseen. But let me realize, let you realize this. Once you see Road Trip, you will never, ever return your food. <laughs> it's as simple as that. And that, again, is a realization. So what does that mean, Sifu? What do you keep? Where are you going with this? I'm getting to a point where if you walk under a ladder and you believe that it's bad luck, well, bad luck will find you. And if you believe it comes in three, then three, three times you're going to have an experience of bad luck. It will find you like a heat-seeking missile because that's a construct of your reality. That's your truth. That's what you know. That's the signature that it, you have put out. And the universe has your back. The universe as a consciousness, as yourself, as a knowing, will give you whatever you're looking for instantaneously. 
So you get in a conflict and watch the pit of the stomach, the lump in your throat, whatever it is, and then all of a sudden you engage with them. And once you're done, once you blow your load and you're screaming and you're yelling and you're saying all these things, notice something. I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe how exhausted I am. That was horrible. That was petrifying. That was terrible. I, my heart is aching. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm shaking right now. This is something. You absolutely, you are like, you're like a piece of fruit and you squeeze the living juice out of yourself. Sifu, what are you talking about? You squeezed every ounce of energy out of your living being to engage with that. You engage with it like a heat-seeking missile. They put it out, you connected, and because you connected, they sucked from your very life force, like an incubus, a succubus, it depends on a male or female, but let's just say it is. And when you engage, they become more powerful. It's kind of like Venom. Have you ever seen Venom, the movie? And it's like, he just gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and this is the very essence of what we speak of because I like, I like oh i was gonna say the the reference um i like the movie um what is it rise of the guardians and there's mm -hmm. that character fear yeah. and he gets all of these kids Sucks the life force yeah he gets all these kids to believe in them and they they're they don't right. have dreams right. anymore it's just right. fear and then there's one kid that's like I don't believe in you. Right. And it, and then it starts to ripple out. Right. And it's like the more they stop believing in it or they don't the weaker believe. He gets. Yeah, yeah. And then the, like the smaller he gets in his energy and mm -hmm. it goes down and down yeah. until he's like, you right. know, and, almost and, non-existent. And, and this is exactly what we speak of. So if you engage with the internet warriors, the energy, the signature <laughs> finds you and it draws. They get stronger, you get weaker. You've engaged with it. And it's attaching itself like an incubus, a succubus, to your very essence, your life force. You're surrendering that to the emotion. You have said, you know what? I'm not as important as the emotion. The emotion's way more important. I'm not as important as anything and everything. That emotion is more important to me than my family. That emotion is more important to me than my job. That emotion is more important to me than my life. And it becomes realized. Mm-hmm instantaneously and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger your life gets smaller and smaller and smaller your existence gets smaller and smaller and smaller as it continually feeds on itself and this is a signature you are in the field once that signature is out you are manifesting it's just just because it's not a bag of money a car and and the happiest life that you've ever had you are manifesting instantaneously wave them out of the particle like that that's how it works mm -hmm. that's how simple it is now if you are operating from a place that is not a duality, then this won't find you. It's like it's just not, it's just imagine it's not in your vocabulary. That's how it works. So I will give you, all the audience out there, a very simplistic, because your reality is based on your truth. Your truth is based on your perception. Your perception of your reality is created by the validation of what you believe is real. So what does that mean? Okay, I want you to create a construct. This is your first magic lesson. What, Sifu? What? Magic? Out of what? What? Is this Hogwarts Academy? No, it's not. I'm letting you know that how powerful you are, mm -hmm. and it comes from your attention, intention, which is really here, but let's just say it's here because all thoughts of your mind are not yours, but it's going to make you feel better if you believe that you've got a big brain on Brad. Now let's take this. Your construct is quite simple. You're going to create a framework around your very essence, your aura. And you're just going to create a field. You're going to, it's going to be imagined in your, um, your... And when I say this, I mean consciousness. I don't mean this. This is very limited. I'm talking about consciousness. So when we speak on something, it's everything. So I realize that. Put a framework around your aura and say, I will not allow anything to enter this space that is not of the highest frequency vibration and energy. That's it. That's all. That's it. And 
put another caveat, whatever comes at me towards this space will be realized 10 times in the opposite direction. This is the simplicity of this incantation. This is an incantation, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies. Just in case you didn't know what that was. Oh, I did my first magic trick today. <laughs> no, it's not David Blaine. It ain't some type of like other stuff. Understand this. If you operate in a duality, this is going to have a rippling effect on people like you've never seen before. So the, the simplicity of this is you don't have to speak it to anyone. You say it in your mind. And watch how quickly when you're in the room with someone that we identify as a psychic vampire, someone that is looking to suck the very life out of you, which engages with you in a lower vibration. So your frequency is so high that the, the basic fundamentals of electromagnetics is that they're so drawn to the opposite in of itself that they can't, it's like polarizing. It's like they have the, no choice. The, the fly, they have. The, it's like the fly to the like the light bulb. The moth the, to the flame. Yeah, moth they to the have flame. to go. They just have to go, no matter what. You're like, but they know. I know. It's like it's 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 a, a self fulfilling prophecy. They cannot be. I'm just drawn by the light. I cannot. I cannot look away. And so they're drawn to you. And what will happen is, you can identify with somebody, whoever it might be, that has this particular character trait. And watch how different they are when they operate around you once you have cast this just simplistic framework. All it is is you're just putting a framework around your aura, but this is only going to be valuable if you work in a duality. If you're not in a duality, ain't King Kong ain't got nothing on you, but let's just say you are. Understanding that everything is a manifestation. Everything is being realized instantaneously. Everything is being equal to or greater than at all times, wherever your attention goes, intention goes, the energy flows. It's being materialized from wave to matter to particle, plamo, instantaneously with the thought, feeling, and the emotion. This is being realized. Let it be so. Let it be true. Let it be known to be true. This is what's taking place. And I am not even talking about my imagination because I don't have one. But let's just say that you wanted to think that, oh, this is such nonsense. This is ridiculous. Listen, the zeros and ones say otherwise. So if you've got a cell phone, you've got the internet, guess what? You're already operating in the quantum. <gasps> Sipu. I poo-hooed that. I thought it was ridiculous. And that stupid movie with Keanu Reeves called The Matrix, that was so, that was rubbish. That was absolutely redonkulous. Well, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, you're already here. You're already doing it. It's already being realized. And you're operating in it right now. Will you repeat it again for anyone who might have, you might have gone a little fast over it? That, if you have a cell phone... If no, no, you, no, like the, the incantation. Oh, the incantation. Yeah. So you just put a framework around you, and you, uh, you, the incantation is quite simple. Nothing may pass through, enter, or reside in this space that is not of the highest energy frequency of vibration. That's it. And then anything that comes towards this space will be repelled and sent back tenfold. That's it. Real simple. Very simple. So it's not about, I'm going to say this because I want this to happen to this person, that person. No. It's how the energies operate. It's all energy, frequency, vibration, guys. It's got nothing to do with you um, looking to cast something on somebody or um, thinking less of somebody. It's the energy, frequency, vibration that we're operating in. This is what someone may call esoteric massive, ma magic, uh, um, indigenous rituals. They're very fundamental. They're very basic. But understand this. If you're operating in a duality, that's going to have a fundamental effect. Now, if you're not, it's not going to matter. You could walk through walls, and none of this is going to touch you. But it has to be realized and, and be true to you. It doesn't matter about anything else. And you know in the wet-ass hour whether it's true or not. You know in the wet-ass hour. And that validation, that confirmation is realized instantaneously because you know what you know when you don't know what you don't know. And that'll never change until it does. 
Wow. Sifu, that's kind of... Yeah, it is. But this is the simplicity of it. So understand about the signatures. The materialized wave to matter to particle. It starts with the thought, feeling, and emotion. It then transmutes into a cluster. And then it's like a heat-seeking missile. It will the, the signature will be equal to or greater than. The universe is on 24 hours a day, meaning you. Now, whether you realize that or not, it's kind of like you being um, conscious or unconscious. If you're conscious and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> or if you're not and you're operating in a duality, oh, that's going to be some bad stuff for you, my mm. friend, because it's going to happen anyway. If you are engaged in emotional content that makes you incoherent, it does not does not uh, exclude or dismiss the validation of the signature of the energy frequency of vibration. That is always happening. So when you realize you are the field, that you are one, then all of a sudden King Kong ain't got nothing on you. And you can't have, you, you've got that epiphany. But if you are not at that place of realization, and you are limited to the duality, the up and down, in and out, black and white, left and right, attempt, well, don't attempt. Know that the construct of that incantation that I just spoke on will have a rippling effect on your life. And so you, you could be in the room with what you have identified as the biggest um, self-proclaimed, self-absorbed um, victim that you've ever come across. And when you drop that framework... You watch the energy of that person. It literally takes place instantaneously as it should because we're moving beyond light speed. And so what's the first thing you do? You watch them just literally melt in front of you. And that's only because they are literally getting back what they give you tenfold. It's not meeting a signature equal to. And they will start to wither on the vine. And they'll be like, oh my goodness, I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired. I, I can't keep my eyes up. And I, 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 I'm, just, I'm just drained. I'm so drained. They're doing it to themselves. They're doing it. No one else. Now you can start to get into a space where but it comes to a vibrational, con conceptual, to a realization, to a, an actual knowing and and you don't you, you know you don't transform it to anything other than you just want to keep your space your space and you will not be in fear of anything once you step past the duality but let's just say for all intents and purposes you are you are testing this out i want to test out what sifu and jay told me to do i'm going to check this out you'll realize it instantaneously now you can take a spot I always use this as a baseline for most people when they want to start this stuff. Go in your backyard, go down to a park, find an area, and all you do is with your attention intention, remember wherever your thoughts go, the energy flows, and just look at a patch of grass and say, I want to pour all my anger out of my liver channel. I'm going to pour it, and, and you know, you can feel the energy start to percolate and it'll draw into that space and watch this come back the next day do it again the grass if not already dying will have died and and it'll start to just get worse and worse and worse because you're pouring the energy into it that realization is can't get faster than that that's always a valid now that's a, like a baseline you need to start with to realize how powerful you are and the the only limit is you and your belief system so that signature ripples out and, you know, what you want to master is, as we've spoke on it before, the 50 trillion cells with 50 trillion atoms in each cell with the 0 0.07 millivolts of electricity that translates in, into 2 trillion plus uh, volts that is realized that you are the field, you are the Christmas tree, you are Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And so then you master your attention, intention to put that energy where you want it, where, how you want it, into what transmutation you want it to be created in. And that's the mastery of Nigong is that you can transmute your energy once you access it 
from the zero point energy and it's realized you can put it in a hundred different directions at once which equal with the equal signature with equal density the equal transmission and the thing is is that defies the whole idea of there's no such thing as multitasking it's put to bed and you, you will see it happen before your very eyes but first you must start with this, the basic framework because the validator, the truth is only what you believe, not what Jay believes, not what I believe. You have to be the validator. You have to, be the, you have to let your truth teller qualify, quantify what the truth is and have it materialize in your reality. Yeah, and I think the simplicity of it is just understanding that um, reacting in itself is a choice mm -hmm. and it isn't, it isn't, um, a, you don't have to do it. Right. It's a choice. You choose to do it, whether you're driven your by love your love affair with, with your emotions, yeah, whether you're driven by your emotions, whether you're a slave to your emotions, whether you're controlled by your emotions, it is a choice. Right. And starting at that baseline, knowing you have a choice, and then you can start making those decisions for yourself of what's really valuable and whether, you know, you want to start off the morning, like we talked about with this um, kind of role playing back and forth with your spouse of, you know, they're giving you a lower energy and then you're taking that on and then you give it back to them and then they give it back to you and then you end up both having terrible days. It's like you can easily stay at that level 15 and not react and realize, hey, they're on their own thing today. That's okay. I'm, I'm doing me. I'm in my own space. I'm in my own vibration and I'm whatever whatever happens in front of me whatever happens around me that's where i'm going to be right. all day every right. day right and i mean you if you've ever seen a child play it's the fastest way for you to observe a profound realization of just what we just spoke of so you know the old expression don't give it life right yeah. so it's as simple as that when you see don't give it energy <laughs> sure and and when you see that you see that you're like, okay, um, one of our kids is upset over something. And if you don't put your attention to it, the actual emotion, f you'll watch it dissipate. And you'll be like, well, don't give, don't give, uh, you know, Curly Sue any attention and watch the, the spill key, the anger, frustration, tantrum. just tantrum, whatever it is, it will disappear. And you'll watch it and be like, oh, that's very simplistic, very powerful, but that goes for anything and everything. And the reason it's so easily attuned to um, from a childlike state is that very uh, observation. Be like a child. And so when, you're, when you are truly childlike in your mindset, you're in a, a creativity, highly transmutable state where you can realize things instantaneously. So you watch kids literally turn the switch on and off. They're, Meep. oh, you see, you see them, you see them. I'm crying, oh my goodness, I want a cookie, I want a cookie. You give them a cookie, you go, oh, oh, a cookie, I feel great. Because it's just an engaging of that emotion and they're able to switch it on and off because of their brainwave state. And that childlike state can be translated into a thought, motion, and feeling with a visual audible experience with a kinesthetic response, which would be perfect in a situation like the Way 126 app that gives you that exact feeling that you've been on, on uh, a beach in the Bahamas for five days drinking pina coladas on vacation, having a full body massage. This is a, a side effect of this. And that sound, that energy, that frequency is permeating the, the very essence at a subatomic level uh, through the sound, through the image that's creating that kinesthetic response instantaneously. That is the go time because that's when the brain waves are being realized. That's when your energy is 
as at its heightened point, the wave is high, your ability to transmute, to manifest is instantaneous. And so that's why kids can go on and off very quickly unless they're left to their own devices and through through a period of time they start to develop these habits that transmute into a personality. And then their personality trait is realized in their everyday life and all of a sudden you're going to have to to pivot and do a few different things for them to erase that and start operating back into their reality the way they want it. If you leave it unattended, it will fester and grow like the Petri dish, like the mold in the Petri dish. That's exactly what takes place. You want to realize this stuff instantaneously, identify with it, and zap it, and completely get rid of it. So knowing the scale of hot potato, 10 to 8, 8 to 6, 6 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 1, negative to negative, that's your manifestation. That's your realization. You are adapting that within a duality. Your perception of your reality is the only truth, the only truth that you need to be concerned with. And that is your realization, your validation, your confirmation that this is true to you. That's the most important thing, the only thing. And so when you master those 50 trillion cells, when you master the energy within you, this is life force energy, we can call it chi, we call it uh, the true essence of your very constitution, the jing that is in the core of your physical being of flesh and blood that is manifested within these 50 trillion cells that is realized from wave to matter, and that is your truth as you know it. That realization, you can manifest and move the energy how you want it, dissolve the anger, dissolve the disappointment, the frustration, the sadness, anything and everything that you choose to. As Jade would say, it's a choice, but you also have to be in a place where it's pliable. So initially, as you're mastering these um, emotions that come from the way 126, which is creating the state, the state of consciousness that you stay in, that is realized, that is realizing the field, the 5D reality we speak of, that comes from a mastery and it comes instantaneously. You will instantly be evoked from being exposed to this material and it will be realized in how you feel. And it's like the more you kind of clean it out and the more you start you know, mastering, if you want to call it like different levels, the better you get. And oh, the yeah. easier it gets. Well, it gets, it get, it, it becomes and the super effort, fast. Effortless it gets, yeah, because it's and like it, it's like it starts to match what we're speaking of, which exactly. is faster than light speed. At that, at that, you're you're creating this coherence in it, and it's like okay, the more cre- coherence I create, the the more amazing things I manifest, right, and right. then the more coherence I create, the more amazing things I manifest, and the more coherence I create, the more th- amazing things I right, manifest. Right. And because I've manifested these amazing things, I have all this coherence and it just right, keeps right. rippling, rippling, rippling. Right. And that's the magnet that we talk about, your magnet to your reality. Yes. And so the old expression, if you think the glass is half empty, it is. If you think the glass is half full, it is. Mm-hmm. It's all perception. And it that's is. consciousness. But understand this, you feed into someone putting out that energy and you're a duality doer. You're a duality doer. What did Sifu just say? A duality <laughs> doer. Yeah, you're you're into the, you know, two sides of the coin, yin, yang, up, down, in, out, left, right, good, bad. Mm-hmm. Walk under a ladder and it's 10 years of bad luck and that's going to happen. Walk under a ladder and you're going to realize $500 billion. That's going to happen. It is up to you, but it is only valid by your truth and your perception of your reality, which is critical to the realization that's how you draw these energies in as that magnet because the magnet the truth teller is never wrong Mm -hmm. now if you transmit negative emotions you're telling the field which is you i want more you're telling it it's only obeying you you go you go out there go you know i'm kind of angry i want i want some more anger i want conflict And people are like, I don't think like that. I don't want that. You don't want that. If you're engaging in your emotions, you're engaging in your anger, you want it. You want it bad. And it will find you. Yeah. And just as you can be super bubbly and happy, that will find you also. 
That's the realization. <laughs> and so looking over what we went over today is understanding that it starts with a thought, feeling, and emotion. And if you are in a duality mindset, this is very fundamentally important to you to understand the mechanics. It starts with a thought, feeling, and emotion, transmutes from that into a wave to matter to particle that you have now turned into a cluster that is now starting to transmute and fester into your very physical body from the entanglement that we speak of and moreover it goes from the deepest subatomic particle all the way up to the flesh and blood that you see before you that is realized and that's how these things sort of percolate and elevate to a higher level all it does is starts and ends with you starts and ends with you starts and ends with you end of story so you can have the best day of your life or the worst but understand the mechanics are working understand that you are manifesting that and if you've engaged with the glass is half empty then it will be half empty for you and that will be realized and then it will transmute into a physical ailment but you can use the basic exercises that jade and i have spoken on today to apply it to your real world experiences and watch it ripple out into a transformation because you created that that was the architecture of the incantation that you put out. Yeah. You'd be like, whoa. And then go and do that exercise where you go to the park, find a piece of grass, and with your attention intention, just re request, pour all anything that I consider negative emotions into this space. Watch it die off. Watch it disintegrate. Watch it dissolve. And that grass will die. That plant will die. And then you'll be like, oh, damn. Well, that was materialized within your physical body. That was realized within your physical body. And because you were, you were able to master it with the feeling, because the more and more you master yourselves, the more and more you can move the energy any way you want and evoke a physiological response at will. That's the key. So use that, use that exercise to pour the energy into a certain space in a, in a park or a backyard or whatever you want. Watch that, realize and go, holy shit. <laughs> See, Phil and Jade were right. And then use that incantation to the framework because this is, you're operating in a duality. Do the framework around yourself, but watch the rippling effects from around you when these things deflect and go back to wherever they came from and that's where you're not putting attention intention to a certain place person or thing you're just creating the framework around you if someone steps over the the uh, the boundary that you've created now remember the boundary is only bound by your duality if you are operating as one none of this means anything it doesn't have to mean anything because you're able to realize everything at will so what that means is you walk into a room, your vibration is so high, everyone just gets happy and giggly and, and just laughter is just rippling out into every corner of the room. That's realized by you. You are using your neurology. You are using the thought forms that you create, thought, feeling, and emotion. You're projecting it into the field and there isn't a signature of energy anywhere in that space that could even match closely to that. It will be deficient of, and it cannot be repelled. It's just drawn to you like a magnet, and then it transmates, transmutes at, into a tidal wave that just has an infectious effect. And it's just weird. And people will start talking about you and go, I don't know what it is about that, that guy, that gal. Every time I'm around them, I just, all I want to do is smile. I don't know what it is about them, but, you know, they're really killing my my buzz, my my sadness, my misery of <laughs> my, my life. It's like really <laughs> affecting me in, a, in, in what I consider a positive way. And I can't have that. I can't have that positive idea of my reality because every time they're around me, I just want to be, I just want to smile. It's really, it's very disturbing. Know that this is true. Know that everything is. This is your truth. Let you know this truth as your reality. Everything is interconnected. There are no exceptions. All is one. One is all. You are me. I am you. When you truly accept that, profound things start taking place. So use these fundamental exercises to create 
some experiments that you can witness and confirm with your own very cognition, your own very validation of that realization, and then take that information, come back, leave a message under this video and go, oh, Jade Sifu, whoa, this is crazy. I can't believe it was that simple. Yeah, it is. Because the misconception is that you believe you're separated. The second you stumble on the fact that we're all interconnected and that separation has never taken place, never will, you hook back up to what your truth is, your default, your reality. Your power. And then everything is realized instantaneously. Oh, yeah. I think we covered a lot today. Did... Um, my beautiful, divine, delectable co-host, have any closing statements or words of wisdom or anything heartfelt that you would like to share with the audience? Yeah, it's it's about empowerment. It's about knowing that you are not um, kind of subject to anything that you don't want to be subject to. It's like, you know, j just the phrase in itself, toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. It's like you have the choice, you have the ability, you have the power within you. And it's not because I'm saying it, it's not because you're saying it. It's within you. You are the truth teller. You have that ability. And now let's give you these little tools to to help that become the realization. Well, as you, you skip along the yellow brick road on your way to see the wizard, you will come to that realization. Yeah. And there is no right or wrong in, in, in the very essence of Wu Wei, which means effortless action, effortless effort. The true essence of the Tao, the Wu Ji, which is the space between yin and yang, the stillness that is the s silent power, the abundant, timeless, endless, limitless, infinite power of the eye of the storm that's within the hurricane, that is the black hole, that is the death of a star, the rising of the red phoenix, the realization of the essence, the true power of who you are, emanating this incredible rippling ruby red color and the realization that you are the field. Booyah! And it feels like this movie that I love from the 70s, Warriors come out to play. Anyway, he had this like these two bottles. It was two beer bottles, one in one thumb and one in a finger, and he was clicking it. And then you, the warriors are like, "Oh my goodness, we've got to get back to the Bronx." Or I can't remember some part of New York. And they had all these gangs trying to track them down. It's like this like ongoing midnight thing. They were definitely operating in the field because there was no time and space. Uh, you know, an epic. You know, two day journey seemed like forever and it was really like five minutes but it like it was a four-hour movie it was like something else <laughs> anyway and so they're at the end of the movie and they're like oh my goodness i mean we're gonna they're good they're gonna kill us i've got all these gang members they're trying to track us down and he's like clicking this and he's like warriors come out to play i want you to come out to play only there's not going to be a a a a, a, a bad ending the end result was they, of course, they prevailed. They're the warriors. Come on. But you, too, are a warrior. Mm -hmm. You, too, have the power. You, too, have the ability to do anything. Your attention, intention, realization, that's as quick as it comes. And anyone that tells you anything else is lying to you because it's accessible to anyone that has a neurology, anyone who has senses, anyone that is realized as a human being has the ability to access this because the field is already present. You are already the field. You have just been separated from it due to the constructs of the limitation of your mindset, which is being proven to be less than valid as we show you more and more examples of your confirmation of how powerful you really are. So with that, any closing statements from High Priestess Jade? <laughs> yes, can you sing my name every time? <laughs> I will. Um, yeah, I think I, uh, I really, for the people who want it, it's available instantly. All right, all right. And for the people who are still skeptical on it 
they will have that epiphany moment where they right. go, oh, yeah, maybe they were right. I, I was, you know, my perspective might have been a little limited, but right. it's been proven. And now, who? Right. And, and that, that proven part, that confirmation part, that mm-hmm. reality part is solely hinged on how you feel. Absolutely. So we harp on the neurology. We harp on your connection. We harp on the kinesthetic response. We harp on your nigong, qigong, 11 herbs and spices, proprietary Taoist ancient tools that are integrated into the very essence of the way 126 that is realized as a visual audible experience creating a kinesthetic response. That powerful tool right there gives you the validated no, it's go time. That's all you got to do is feel it. Don't have to think about it. Mm-hmm. You know it. When you know it, it is realized. That is the truth. That is the reality. So with that said, I must be drawn to my reality. You must feel it. I must feel it. Oh, yeah. You know, it's the feeling. If it's not the feeling, what is it? And it's, uh, you know, people would say, is this Groundhog Day? I didn't, didn't we see this podcast before? I think we... No. Thankfully, we're not playing it at the beginning because someone might say, I think I've already said this podcast. But... <laughs> I want to thank my divine delectable co-host, High Priestess Jade. And I'm your humble servant and Sifu, Taoist Master San Quinn. And I'll see you on the next one, guys.